And so that's what we're going to do. So let's, let's jump in. Jeez, <laughs> that was really hard. Okay. Hi, friends. I hope you're having a lovely day today. Uh, we're going to do something fun today. When I was in uh, Utah visiting some, some YouTuber friends, I learned something that I should have known, which was you can plug your phone into your computer open up this thing called QuickTime Player and record your phone screen. I thought you had to jailbreak it or, or you had to you had to buy some special cable from Apple that's $78 or you had to plug the thing in and get BitTorrent and all kinds of just LimeWire. You know, like I thought it had to be something that was this weird back end thing. But you you drop down a menu and click the a button that says iPhone screen and you can record your iPhone screen. Have the mic synced up to it. Uh, it just it freaking blew my mind. It was something that um, was... I don't, I don't get surprised like that often because I'm on this thing every day. Uh, but anyway, I'm going to use that and we're going to record. I do a lot of editing on my phone, a lot of photo editing. And I thought, why not record me editing a photo? Um, and so that's what we're going to do. So let's, let's jump in. Okay, friends, today I have chosen to come into none other but the well-known and well-rounded Visco Cam. Whoa! Uh, Visco Cam. And uh, let's see, the photo I want to edit today is one that I took in the Atlanta airport in my recent trip to Utah. Um, this is a, a photo I took with my iPhone, and uh, I just thought it was a... The, the only reason this photo works for me is because I, I, I think that the her walk cycle <laughs> is actually really nice and you know all the other things that make a photo good like like tell the story it tells but you know she's going to her thing it, you know uh it's escalators and such it's it's a pretty photo um and so yeah so i'm, I'm just gonna go into visco cam and see well we're already in it we're, i'm going to proceed through further into the vow um and edit this photo and see what we can come up with let's see here it's weird because I'm looking at my computer screen and I want to watch it on there, but I need to look down at my phone and edit. Hmm. Now, here's the question. Presets. I do know that because I, I, okay, so I've bought a lot of presets on here, um, as you can see. Um, and I do, first of all, I believe how, I believe that the way ViscoCam went about this app was incredible. They, they offer the app for free, if I'm not mistaken, and then they just, they give, they give you a nice selection of presets, but then they're like, hey, check this out. Here's some other freaking amazing presets that you can buy. And I, you know, I've spent probably $10 in this app, I think, just buying presets because it's and it's actually a productive venture for me i'm gonna use this every day Whee! um so i want to choose one potentially that already exists in the um the if you were to download uh visco cam today i want to choose one that exists for you potentially now forgive me if i get this wrong but um i do believe that the uh c so one, two, three, um, I, th th those, you can, you don't have to buy those. Uh, now I will show you, this is my favorite preset to use. This is from the, the uh, pack from the original Visco Cam. Uh, this is number four, back when they were numbered. And uh, I just love this one to death. I really do. I used to, I used to really dig number uh, five and I, I still really like it. It's very nice. But number four is just um, beautiful, very beautiful. F1 is also a really nice one. Uh, very vibrant, but we're gonna do we're gonna do C1 today. Bit of a different look for me, but I like it. Now the fun thing about these presets and what makes what, what they they've done this so well um, is they. Um, sorry, I'm I'm thinking in my head like, are people gonna think this is sponsored? But I don't think I have to worry about that. Um, it's not. It's not. <laughs> um, you could apply a preset and and export the photo and you have an excellent uh excellently colored photo uh, these presets are wonderful they're not too harsh they're not um too uh, plain for me some of them are actually uh you know a bit more subtle than this um 
but but like I could I could save this right now and I'm done. I got a good looking photo. But we are um gonna see what we can do to this. I do uh, I I think that this one was more modeled off of maybe like a Portra film, if I'm not mistaken. I don't know this, but anyway, let's edit. All right, so tint. I'm going. The first thing I want to do here, and this is not always the way I do this. I don't even know why I came here first, but uh, it was the first thing I saw that I wanted to do. Uh, I'm going to tint this a little bit. I'm going to tint a little, I think, green. Yeah, so I'm going to tint it a little greener. I really like green, greenish uh, tones. Uh, let's go into the temperature, see what we can do here. Ooh, punch it up. See, what I like about these videos is they make me kind of try things that I don't normally try. It's normally just a very straightforward process for me, but I'm actually, like, really playing with some different kinds of looks here. Uh, let's leave that where it is. Fade. Ooh, well, it was already faded a little bit. I'm not sure what happened there. Uh, I did edit this photo before, maybe. Oh, yeah, that's right. I didn't reset that all the way. Um, So, let's see. Fade. Ooh, okay, I see. I see. It was faded a little bit. I like it at about three. All right, and let's see what grain's doing. Let's put a little bit of grain. Now, I tend to... Uh, <clears throat> I don't prefer the grain in ViscoCam. That's the one thing that I don't think that they do exceptionally well. I don't really enjoy the grain that much. I actually rather uh, after light screen. I, I a lot of times I'll export the photo from ViscoCam, import it in after light just to put some nice grain on it. Um, it is nice, but it just doesn't quite give you the effect that I want. So, but we are gonna add some here uh, so it, that it can be self-contained. And so that was we put the grain on two there, and then let's see. We're gonna save some highlights here. Maybe. Now, this was one of the features when I first got this app. I really loved it because I had never seen it really done well in another app. Uh, it really crushes the highlights in a very filmic kind of way, I think. And so I'm actually going to turn that all the way up because YOLO. Uh, nope. Nope. We're going to drop that back down. Shadows, they get pretty crazy. Like, you can really do some damage with the shadows save slider. Like I said, it's, I mean, there's not, you know, not a whole lot to be done here. That has to be done. I mean, I can do a lot. I can certainly mess this up. Perfect. Um, let's see. Okay, so let's, let's, all about the 10%, so maybe we'll go down, we'll go down the saturation one. Uh, skin tone's looking real nice that way, I think. Um, do we want to go back down here? Whoa, not that far. I really like the light where it was, so I think we're going to hang out at 3. Contrast, normally don't mess with that too much. That's a really nice, like, lo-fi sort of um, punchy film look. I do like that, but uh, not, not, my, not my style on a daily basis. No cropping, mm, no straightening for me today. Uh, skin tones, any of this stuff. A lot of times I won't, you know, I won't do a whole lot. I do like the kind of the effect that gives, but I'd rather not make the make it so pinkish. Um, I feel good about this. I think this is nice. I think this feels pretty good. All right. I think we got a winner here, guys. Let's hit the save. Bam. Very nice. Nice little iPhone street travel photo. Okay, awesome. I hope that that brought you value. Um, if I can expand upon this more in a direction that it would bring you more of said value, that would be awesome. As always, like if you like this thing and subscribe if you want more of this thing. Is this a good idea? Let me know. Um, go take good iPhone photos. Have a lovely day. Goodbye.